President Xi Jinping of, of China is in a dire crisis, dire straits. The drought sparks blackouts and energy rationing as China's economy is battered because of this. They closed production weeks on end in various uh, provinces of China. Xi Jinping is facing the crisis as a nationwide drought in China sparked power outages chaos and brought shipping to a grinding halt and major companies suspend operations. And we can see the great Yangtze River. You can walk across it. Look at this thing. This is just terrible. It's not only we have droughts in the U.S., in the Midwest, not only in Northern Europe, but also in China. So um, he's suspending operations in uh, major companies. The severe drought in China caused parts of the nation's Yangtze River in Sichuan to dry up. It comes after a result of extreme heat wave, which is sending shot waves throughout the country, forcing authorities to issue a red alert warning for the 11th consecutive day uh, yesterday, Monday. And worryingly, the record-breaking drought left water levels in Sichuan's hydropower reservoirs dangerously low, plunging by half. Meanwhile, demand for electricity in the region has soared by 25%. Obviously, people can't stand the heat. They need air conditioners or fans. As the province gets 80% of its energy from hydropower, the provincial government said the particularly severe dip in water levels has led to a grave situation. But not only is it affecting Sichuan, downstream areas of Chungquin City and Hubei province have been hit as well. Restrictions on energy use were already introduced August 15th to August 20th, with thousands of factories forced to use limited power. Households were also given energy rationing instructions due to the shortage. But on Sunday, curbs were extended for another five days following scorching temperatures of 40 degrees Celsius. The shutdowns caused major disruption for several industries, including the automotive sector. Volkswagen, the German car maker, said it was experiencing slight disruptions at its factory in Sichuan capital, Chengdu. A Volkswagen spokesperson said, we are monitoring the situation and are in close exchange with our suppliers. Toyota and Tesla operations at certain plants were impacted over the last two weeks. Foxconn, a supplier for Apple, has also temporarily had to shut down a plant Last week, but said the impact is not significant as yet. The Sichuan region has also reportedly experienced rolling blackouts in some commercial and residential districts. And as water on the Yangtze mains trunk is now over 50% below the average of the last five years, shipping routes in the middle and lower sections have reportedly closed. In Chongqing, up to 500 shopping centers and other commercial venues have been issued with government notices to shorten business hours to slash power demand. And these are not the only regions that have been forced to limit demands as the drought unleashes havoc. There's problems with the agricultural industry as well. Agricultural land across a number of regions has been affected by the drought. In Shanghai, its iconic Bund skyline will be forced to remain in darkness for two days in a bid to conserve power amid the drought. Chen Yu Wu, an analyst for China and North Asia at Consultancy Control Risk, said local efforts to save power and boost energy are likely to help mitigate the power shortage situation in the coming weeks, especially if the much hoped for end of the scorching heat wave arrives. The drought has reportedly affected at least 2.46 million people with 780,000 people needed direct, needing direct government support, China's Ministry of Emergency Management uh, claims. It also caused problems for agricultural land across regions of Sichuan, Hebei, Hunan, Jiangxi, Anhui, and Chongqing. And in a bid to limit the impact of the industrial shutdowns on the country's economy, its central bank announced Monday it was cutting its five-year interest rate by 0.15 percentage points, down to 4.3%. The country was already reportedly suffering from stagnant consumer spending due to COVID, with the heat wave only adding to the strain already put on the country by the pandemic.
And this is on Express UK by Jacob Paul. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. My Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.